Let's write the molecular ionic and net ionic equations for when aluminum is put into a solution of hydrobromic acid. So initially what we have is solid aluminum and hydrobromic acid, HBr. And if we come to our acid chart, hydrobromic acid is a strong acid. Okay, and what's going to result? Well, potentially the aluminum will displace the hydrogen from solution. So if we come to the metal activity series, we see that uh, aluminum is above hydrogen. So aluminum will displace hydrogen from solution. So what's going to result is an ionic compound between uh, aluminum and bromine. So in that case, you're going to have Al3 plus ions bonding with Br minus ions, which is AlBr3. Doing a Google search, we see that aluminum bromide is soluble in water. Okay, now the H plus cations are going to get displaced into the elemental form of hydrogen, H2, gas. Okay, so now we just need to balance this. So we need to put a two here to balance the hydrogens. The aluminums are balanced, but now the bromines aren't balanced. So if we put a two here and a six here, now the bromines are balanced. Now the aluminums are balanced and now the hydrogens are balanced. So that's the molecular equation. Now, to construct the ionic equation, we just break up all strong electrolytes into ions and leave weak electrolytes or insoluble compounds with their full chemical formula. So hydrobromic acid is a strong acid, strong electrolyte. All ionic compounds, if they're soluble, are our strong electrolytes. So we've got and then 6H plus aqueous, 6Br minus aqueous, 2Al3 plus then six Br minuses, and then hydrogen gas. So there's the ionic equation. Now to get the net ionic equation, we just cancel spectator ions, and we're left with the net ionic equation. And there's the net ionic equation. Now, this is a redox reaction, so we can also write the half reactions. So focusing on the net ionic equation, let's first assign oxidation numbers. So elemental forms, zero, these monoatomic ions, just whatever the charge is. Okay, so aluminum is oxidized and hydrogen is reduced. So now for the oxidation half reaction, we take whichever reactant is oxidized and just pull its exact chemical formula and coefficient. So you have 2Al, and this is going to break up into 2Al3 plus and six electrons. So there's the oxidation half reaction. Now the reduction half reaction, we take the substance that's reduced, and this is going to accept these six electrons and result in 3H2. Okay, so the aluminums are balanced, the charges are balanced, the hydrogens are balanced, the charges are balanced. So here's the reduction half reaction. 